So finally we get this liquefying effect on Android. And not just Android, but Compose a multi-platform instead. Which means this effect is available on all four platforms. So this effect was first introduced on iOS, but now it is available on other platforms as well. So before I show you what kind of a library I'm actually using here, let me also showcase here a couple of different examples so that you can see how this liquefying effect is actually beautiful. So for this liquefying effect, we can also customize a couple of different properties like the frosting, refraction and other. So in this case, uh, as you can see, if we increase the frost uh, property, then the blurness will increase and we're going to get that kind of a glossy effect uh, more. Uh, there is also the refraction. So the refraction uh, kind of increases or uh, modifies the edges of this effect, I think. We have the curve. So the curve is uh, mostly on the edges of uh, our uh, component, as you can see. So if we reduce that back, then the curveness will basically disappear or this uh, liquefying effect will disappear in uh, general. We also have the edge. So we are modifying the edges uh, again. We have the saturation. So even the saturation here is available. So we can set it to be, you know, black and white kind of an effect, right? Or we can just use the saturation to make it more uh, prominent when it comes to colors. We also have the corner, so we can set the, the corner radius in this case to be either a circle or just uh, uh, some kind of a rounded corner shape. And finally, we have this dispersion effect, which uh, practically adds this uh, color mix into the into the liquefying effect, right? So that's how it actually uh, looks like. We also have a couple of more examples uh, in here. So we can see how this uh, actually uh, works with other different components. So we have the top bar, we have the bottom bar. We can also uh, move this uh, slider to make this uh, frosting effect uh, more prominent and uh, make our components uh, behind it less visible. But in this case, I like uh, the frosting to be uh, less in the value slider. So I would put that on the zero, right? So it makes more sense. We also have a couple of more examples like this uh, uh, right here. So we have a uh, cards that uses this liquefying effect with a frosting uh, effect as well. We even have the example of a pool to refresh. So it's uh, really beautiful. Yeah. Now let me show you here uh, the actual library which uh, I have recently found. And that library is called a liquid. So you can access the link. Um, uh, so github.com slash fletch mc key slash liquid. I'm going to leave this uh, a link down in the video description as well. Uh, anyhow, uh, the only thing that you need to do is to add this um, dependence in your uh, common main source set, right? So they also have a documentation page uh, where you can read more about this library in general, uh, how it uh, works, uh, how to get uh, started, introducing with their uh, API and how it uh, looks like. Uh, there is also the liquid scope, so you can see what kind of uh, properties you can actually modify uh, with this uh, effect or this library. There are also limitations to this library as well, and this only applies to Android target, by the way. So the minimum API level that will display the liquefying effect is a 33. So this is effectively a runtime shader library, so this limits what is possible for Android 32 and lower. But uh, practically there are two uh, important modifiers that are available, so a liquefiable and a liquid, right? So, so those two uh, modifiers are practically used in your... Uh, project to uh, make this liquefying effect possible. You can also clone their repository and just uh, check the code directly, which I have already done, right? So in this case, I have cloned their uh, repository. In the samples uh, module, we have uh, all these uh, demos, which we have already seen in our Android application. So we have this uh, liquid clock screen and we can read more about it and uh, actually uh, find out how this component uh, was actually made. Now, we have uh, two important modifiers, right? So we have the liquefiable modifier, which uh, practically marks uh, this uh, modifier node as a recording surface whose rendered content can be sampled and displayed through another UI layer using a liquid state effect, right? So practically with uh, all these uh, elements that are displayed behind that uh, liquefying uh, component needs to use this uh, liquefiable uh, modifier. Also, uh, you need to make sure to place uh, any draw modifiers 
like this uh, shadow or a background after this uh, liquefiable node or otherwise these uh, draw modifiers will not be uh, part of the recording we also have an example down below to see uh, how this uh, actually uh, works with our composable function and there is also different kind of a uh, modifier and that the modifier is uh, called a liquid so they are similar right so their name is quite similar but there is a difference so this liquid uh, modifier applies the liquid effect right so it samples the pixels recording in the liquid state and this is basically uh, that kind of a box uh, which we have animated previously let me here open that app once again so we have the rotating uh, clock i think yeah and this uh, box is actually this uh, movable element which we are moving uh, on top of all other different elements right so uh, that um, uh, component right here needs to use this uh, liquid uh, modifier and all other elements beneath it needs to use other different modifier which we have already seen and which is called a liquify i think yeah so that's how it uh, practically works there is also a wasm sample example uh, which we can see here as well so as you can see we have the same example only in this case it's rendered uh, on the web browser it looks and works uh, practically the same way we can uh, modify its uh, properties and uh, it uh, really looks amazing and there you go so that's how you can implement this uh, liquefying or a glossy effect into your compose uh, multi-platform project so be sure to check out this uh, library and of course uh, give it a star if you find it helpful other than that, don't forget to leave a like to this video if you want to see more interesting libraries in the future as well. Thank you for watching.